Father, we thank you in the holy name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for the beautiful evening. We thank you for your ear tonight again. And you have opened your ear to unhear our prayers. Thank you Holy Spirit for your word. We have come to seek the right way from you. We have come to hear the good thing from you. We have come tired and weary and to be comforted by you. Everyone that is here is waiting eagerly upon your will and your goodness and your, your power. I thank you Lord for no one have ever seen your face and have not seen it. I give you I give you glory for you here this evening to change seasons and times. May your name be glorified. We, ask, we accept you to speak to and us. And I stand standing before this congregation. I pray that your will shall pass through me and to the ears of these people that are listening to me. May your glory and honor be for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Today we are going to discuss about the word of God. But I want us to pray more. Praise be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. We have the title of the sermon that says the right, uh, uh, right fasting the right uh, fasting that gives fruits. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The prophets of Baal, one time they cut themselves and they fasted. But it ended when their God had done nothing for their God was an idol. It, that means that every fasting, every staying, uh, spending the whole day without eating doesn't give uh, the, 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 the yield. Foods. The purposeful and the rightful fasting it is the one that is best in the word of God. Praise, may God bless you. We are going to read a couple of readings from the book of Isaiah. 58 from verse 3 to 8. Let's say what I was about to say. Let's say what I was about to say. Nichi. Nichi gituma twibabaza ukabyirengagiza. Mbiterwa nuko ku munsi wanyu wo kwigiriza ubusa muba mubonye uko mwinezeza ubwanyu mukagirira naba bakozi banyu bose. Dore icyo mwiyiriza ubusa ni ugutongana no kugi impaka no gukubitana ibipfunsi by'abanyarugomo. Kuri ubu ni mukiyiriza ubusa uko bikwiriye byatumijwe iryanyu ryumvikana mwijuru. Ujira ngo kuyirizu busa nshima kumeze gurchu. Mbese nu mwonsi umono yiba barizamo akubi kumutkwe mumu veranya akisa siribi gunira akarjama mngivu. Ibjo nibjo wita kuyirizu busa nu mwonsu witeka yishimira. Ahubo kuyirizu busa nshima nuko ngaja mubo hora waningo yizuru gomo muga hamburi migozi yubure etkwa Mukarenga nura barenga na kandi muga chipja gahato biosi kandi ukare kura uga tangi bia kuri bia uka gaburi raba shonji uka zana ba chene ba meneshe shwe uka wa shira munzu ya u wa wanu wamba yubu suka ngambika niwe renga jizebe ne wa mazere rumu chowa uzahera kutambike mu musetsi ubu chirebga we buzato havuba. Gucira nuka kwa we kuza kujimbere. Kandi chuba hilo chui teka chizaba chikushore. Mani gumujisha. Iri shamborji maana tukumvise mujita wacha Isaiah. This word of God that we've had in the book of Isaiah. Imana ya riri makufuga na nungo kubgayo. God was speaking to his people. Kugusenga kukwirie. About the right fasting. Kukwiri zuhusa kufitumu maro. About the purposeful right fasting. Yesu na himbazi kwechana. Praise God. 
God. The reason and the importance of fasting it makes God give you his direction or direction his ways. It gives you the direction of where you are going and don't beat around the right and left. It gives you the power to get out of your weakness and you enter into another realm that understands God more. So God didn't invite us here and ask to scare us. But he has invited us to give us the right way. Praise God. Touch of God, people have prayed, you have prayed and we have prayed. But there is one time when the devil depends on the ignorance you have about the word of God. And he takes all your things or maybe covers all your things. And not because God has not had, had your answers but you've not prayed in the right way. Many people when they are praying about the prayer that are about to give birth to miracles. That's when you find kids are sick at home. And you find your house helper that was helping you back home is just confusing things up. Or maybe it causes chaos among the wives and the husbands. Actually, the devil wants nothing apart from you, apart from just targeting you. Because Satan lived with God. He knows the do's and the don'ts of God, though he failed to abide with them. So if you're going to pray the prayers that are very important and gives the young God, the most important secret it is you to control your emotions. Not everything that comes to your life have to get to have a reaction over it. Praise God. For because whenever you do anything and because our God loves peace and his holiness the devil the devil gets a reason to accuse you before God saying why how can you do this to him when I done so and so that is why God sent Isaiah as his prophet over his people and you say you're lamenting yourself so that you're saying that you're praying that you answer we have fasted but we have not done anything honestly you have served the things you are supposed to do. Yesterday people were here we were taught about interceding. Because an intercessor is someone who has the destinies of different people in his hand. It's as if you're a driver that is driving a big car. And you drive considering that other people are going to consider your priority. To people who learn the laws of the, of the roads. When they are giving you the driving permit, they have to consider you driving your own car alone. But you have to be very careful about the other people who are driving your way or other opposite ways. That's why the Spirit of Lord this evening is counseling us to have a purposeful praying. Every time you are before God about fasting and praying, it is not time to, uh, to cancel people. It is not the time about revenging everyone that does bad to you. It is not about the time of being violent and being so uh, 
extravagant. But God wants us. Your eyes and your heart and your thoughts. You cross every door and focus all your everything of yours to Him. Praise God. When I started here, we read in Matthew chapter 6. The reason why Jesus taught his disciples how to pray. And he said, whenever you go to pray, enter into your house and shut the door. At this time around as people are living nowadays, it doesn't just require to open to cross the, the physical doors. Now we are in the prayers of many days. Don't tell me you're going to stop your job for 70 days. Your boss will chase you out. But you have to do your job as a faithful person knowing your responsibility. And as a child of God that has to show that one in a physical way. Praise God. When Nehemiah was building the walls of Jerusalem because the enemies were quite very many. And he told me, you know what we are going to do? One hand is going to hold the sword and another one holds the constructive tool. For we are not supposed to be to God when everything is silent. The will of God is not supposed to be accomplished when there are no problems. But we are in such a pro times of praying it is your right time to prepare and reconstruct your wall. It is your time to build the walls that were destroyed. It doesn't matter about considering the things that are surrounding you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Very many people pray and even live before the eyes of God when God has had them. But when you get home, you find your house helper that you pay on a monthly basis you have, you have bought everything and she knows that you have spent the whole day and she knows you have to eat maybe the banana or everything you like but you find it is the same day she has chosen to go visit her friend in a far distant place and when you get even home, you find she has closed the door and left. And when she comes back, you say, I'm going to slap you in the name of Jesus and repent tomorrow. Praise God. I want to tell you that it is the devil that has asked of you passing through a different door. Praise God. The prayers that change your situations they are the prayers that request an intercessor to cross all the kinds of doors that surround him. And you open only one door that hears the voice of God. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. If you are this same, glory be to God. Praise Jesus. And God said, I love when you come to pray. And you come to pray when you have prepared some things. Let's read verse 7 and 8 only. Praise mm. God. When you are praying, we nowadays have the intercessors in churches who just ignores the responsibility he has in the family and then he says that, that, does, that doesn't look at me because the choir has prepared the 
prayers for fasting for 3 days. Niba hari ishingano wirengagije. If you are ignoring a certain responsibility. Menya ngo hari aramirimo gukomanga imbere y'Imana kurugirwawe. Know that there is alarm that is knocking on your door before God. Ijambo ry'Imana yambira aho nujya gutamba igitambo cyawe ukibuka kufitanye ikibazo n'umuntu wari we wese. The word of God says if you're going to offer your sacrifice and remember you have an issue or a grudge with someone. Banza ugisubize mu mufuko usubire yige gukemura icyo kibazo. Fast put it back in your pocket and go sort out that issue. Ariko satana profita kutamenya ijambo kwa bana b'Imana. The devil profits the ignorance of people of God. Ugasanga uri kihere gishonje iminsi 70 ariko mu byukuru udashobora kwa accessing ubwiza bw'Imana. And you find your someone that have spent 70 days who cannot access the goodness and the face of God. Iki ni gihere y'Imana iba yaturaritse. This is the time that God has invited us. Twongere kubaka imfatiro za senyu. That we rebuild the, the the walls that were were destroyed. Twongere gusubira muri doctrine zi jambo ry'Imana and we revert back the doctrines of the word of God kugira ngo Imana yumve gusenga kwacu dusubize for God to be able to hear our prayers and answer us Imana ihimbazwe cyane praise be to Jesus niba wirengagiza mwene wanyu wakagize icyo mumarira if you have ignored your relative that you are supposed to support mutekereze ko iminsi 70 hari ikintu uzayibona don't think you're going to get anything out of this 70 days Imana ntaga igipanikinga God is ne- doesn't panic umuntu witwa Ana yari z'imyaka a someone called Anna cried for many years. And was asking for a child from God because she had gotten a husband to give birth. And his husband Elkanah was a prophet. Was a priest. And he said Penina is not doing good to me. God give me a child so that I can go and show to her that I, you have given me the child. But God looked at her. Ikamubwira ngo amarira yosurira no kwiriza ubusa ko surira ntacyo bimaze. And he said all the the tears that you're shedding, all the cry that you're crying is not is useless. Agasubira yo nkuko yaje. And then she returns back home the same way she has come. Ariko igihe yahinduye imyumvire. But the time that she changed her mindset. Akabwira Imana ngo numpa umwana w'umuhungu nzamuguha gukorere. And he said the time will give me a son God I'll, I'll make him serve you. Kubera yuko bwari bwo bushake because that was the will of God honestly God gave him some gave her somewhere he didn't stop from there he even added more because she had done what was on the heart of God praise Jesus all the kinds of prayers that you can pray without praying in the word of God and in his will don't expect God to tremble and answer you because you have prayed many times for God loves you more than he loves your answers Yesu nahimbazwe cyane. Praise Jesus. Amen. Torero uyu mugoro wa batugiye gusenga. Church this evening we are going to pray. Ariko turasenga nkuko Imana ishaka. But we are going to pray according to the will of God. Ushobora kubura ikimo kwibaza uti ko numva inkuru mbizingo simpande zose. You might be asking how about these bad stories that are surrounding me. Ko mu kwezi kwa munana ari bwo numvise yuko mama rwaye cancer cyangwa papa meze nabi. In the month of August that's when I heard that my mother is suffering from cancer or maybe my father. Nagira ngo nkubwire ngo I want to tell that she, as long as he or she is still breathing God can do something. One man called Jehoshaphat was the king of Jewish people. In the second Chronicles chapter 20 They said now the wow unto you. Three nations they have rose against you and they are, they, are, they are in one accord to take you out and then was, was filled with fear and discouraged he had not prepared prayers and written an agenda but he knew that the people he was the king of had their own king 
And he knew that his kingdom had come from heaven. And then he rushed out. And he made an announcement. And he said, I urge all the Jewish people to fast with their children. Come and go before God. Praise be to Jesus. I want to tell that when you go before God with your all heart and with all your hope God will not work based on where you have started. When God was going to fight their battle he didn't start from one nation to another. No, it didn't work like that way. God said just go and stand. And you see what God will do over your life. Praise, Praise be to Jesus. And at night God sent his angel. And then they conflicted among themselves. And only two men of that man escaped. And they went back to kill their father. And God had victory in a miraculous way. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So verse 8, considering what Bishop told us here. Read quickly. Then your light will break forth like a down. And your healing will quickly appear. Listen carefully. He was saying we made to have the, uh, the, the, the financial hit. Diseases in the souls, we are not okay. We are not organs in our bodies that are functioning very well. And he said, We want to go to heal us all those kinds of diseases. And honestly, that is the responsibility of God. Praise God. And now, here in Isaiah 58, verse 8. God is saying that he will heal us. Continue. Your righteousness will go before you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Those are the benefits of people who play according to God's will. When God comes down, He doesn't come with only one thing that you are remembering that makes you not sleep. But because He is God, He sees today and even sees in your future why you cannot see. And does the things of today. And even sows the things of the future. Praise Jesus. Yesterday the verse where I winded up in numbers. The word of says I swear upon my living. Whatever you have spoken into my ears I will do it. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. People of God, I want to tell you if there is a seed that you can sow, if there is a valuable investment that you can do in your life, not you as a person, and even people that will come after you, and where you, you are born from, and even the country where you belong to, and even where you are going, where you can see with your eyes. Sending a seed that is called a player. Yes, Praise Jesus. No one can yield what has not you can harvest what you have not sold. Praise God. People who lived in cows. 
Even though you don't uh, cultivate in the place where they are cut off, because there is enough uh, fertilizer, there are things that are supposed to grow in that place, however much it is. At times you can have the, the greens. That is a blessing and it can be beneficial to you. But there are times when there are things that grow there when you don't like them, but because there is a fertilizer there. Praise, Praise God. Some of you know about the history of the story in the New Testament. A man that sold Sogam. And when he was sleeping, uh, the, the enemy came and put in the, the wheat. They called the wheat. Praise God. I want to tell you that when you're not careful in your brain, and you sow a seed in your life, it doesn't mean that in your garden nothing else will grow from there. They will grow, but you fight about uprooting them, but in actual they have grown there. Praise God. Short Till we are going to be sowing a seed. You know what you want to grow in your life. And it is you who know the kind of fruit of the seed that you want to sow. The book of Second Corinthians, chapter 10. From verse 3 to 4. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Second Corinthians chapter 10 from verse 3 the Bible says For though we walk in, in the flesh we do not war according to the flesh for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty in God for pulling down the strongholds. Go to five and six. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Verse five. The Bible says, casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the, uh, the, the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ and being ready to punish all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Praise God. Though we walk like people, though we dress like the way they dress, though we look like the way they look, though we live in the same lifestyle, though we are born like the way they were born, but there is somewhere where we have a difference. Our, 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 our warfare are different when we are before God. Praise God. My brother who is here in these prayers, I want to tell you that you are very much blessed person. For God invited you to be at this altar he had a plan and a purpose of fulfilling his will unto your life and nothing is going to stop him to do it praise God so our weapons they are very much important to get hold of everything and everything that is in the thoughts of the hearts of people that is intending to obey, to disobey Christ and God. I want to tell you that poverty is intending to fight God in your life. For God created you as his own child and his goodness and his will to be manifested in your life. So everything different from that one is about fight 
fighting the, 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 the purpose of God. And for the will of God to be accomplished, you have to understand he, who you are in God. You're not like any other human being. You're not like other people. But you are before God. Your weapons are very powerful. Of getting back everything the devil has taken from you. Of bringing back what has taken from you. Of making what God purposed over your life come to pass. And it doesn't stop from there. And even destroying the, all the strongholds that you never had built in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we put them down. Praise God. We are going to pray to God. I have that stronghold that is before you that stops you from seeing God. Don't see it as something that has power over your life. It is waiting your command. And then it can and fall down and you're able to walk upright yes, Praise Jesus It is not only pulling them down But you even uproot their, their foundation yes, Praise God and after that one and every heart and that life that was heavy that had currently uh, disobedience because it was its sins and we take it back to Christ praise God praise Jesus do we have someone else do you feel the strongholds are going to be Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do so much to me. Not in me. Moody Tabo Tamarico. Mark Macumyabin in a cabin in a Macumyabin in a can. Mark chapter eleven from verse twenty two to twenty four. Yes, I him was which are. Hallelujah. We Mugorova no Mugorova. This is your evening. The Fitiminota Michea Gusakamakumyabi Yokubita has to be home. We have a few minutes, like 20, to bring down all the strongholds. But because they're not attacked by our capacity, but they are being uprooted by the power of the one who is in us. Even though there might be three, it is enough. Amen. Have faith in God. Hallelujah. Verse 22, the Bible says, Have faith in God, Jesus answered. Truly I tell you, if anyone says to this mountain, Go throw yourself into the sea, and does not uh, doubt in their heart, but believes that uh, what they say will happen, it will be done for them. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. Amen. That if you have faith, the mountains will be removed in yes, front of you. Amen. But when Jesus was saying these words, he urged people of something. And he said, only the people that have faith in it and believe to see them, you have already received them. And for them to be seen in your eyes, have faith that you are going to see them. Praise Jesus. Let me request you to stand and we pray.
Let me request worship team to come forward. And they're going to be leading us into a song of prayer. But if I were you, I'd be in a far place. For we are very, very tired. We are tired for the bondage of the devil. We are tired of receiving promises that doesn't come to pass. You have the prophecies that have spent many days but have not been seen into our eyes. We are tired of uh, walking with diseases in our hearts when Jesus was striped for them. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want uh, when they are standing here, we remind of the word that we read yesterday. That is in the book of Numbers. Yes, I Hallelujah. Fourteen verse twenty-eight only. You're going to say something in the ears of God and in a louder voice. With your loud voice because God hears. And he's ready to answer you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Praise Jesus. Are there people who are ready to pray? Do you have people who are ready to pray? Are you here and you want to pray God? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word says that I declare and I swear upon my living. Whatever they have said in my ears, I will do them. Hallelujah. Lift up your voice and start praying. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you. Thank you for this beautiful evening. Thank you for your mighty hand healing us here. Thank you for your ready to change us, Lord.
Whenever they should be having burdens, they go to sleep on the And whenever the age of God comes in the pool with the healing power, whoever that goes in fast will receive the healing. I want to tell you that our healing is no longer required to go to the pool. Our king was paying for us to be saved. It is your time to enter in the goodness of God. It is your time of not being discouraged, but rather receive the goodness of God. You might be very weak in your flesh. And you find you want only to sit or stand only. But there is no soldier that stands at the battle for We are in the time of the warfare of the warfare. It is your time to take your weapon and start turning the bomb. Praise be to Jesus. God had said that whatever speaks through his ears will do it. You don't have to get tired to tell God. But do it with your zeal and with your commitment. We are about to end. I beseech you to play like now before. God is here to do good to you. This is your evening for God to visit you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God has shown me people here where the situations are changing. I have seen me coming with the angel of God at the altar. And his responsibility was to give and confirm what they were doing. So it is upon you to be quick and receiving what God has given you. So what God tells me that from the time of 
Imana buratwaranirwa ngo kandi ntwari zibugisha n'imbaraga the, 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 the kingdom of God suffers violent and violent takes it by force Amina hallelujah hallelujah nagira ngo nkubwire ngo usenge I want to tell you to pray Senge shugenge bwawe pray with your understanding Senge shumutima wawe pray with your heart Senge shumuka wawe pray with your spirit ugomba gufata icyo Kristo yagufatiye muri uyu mugoro You have to take what Jesus Christ took you for Hallelujah Hallelujah tugomba kuzajya mu ijuru ni ryacu We have to go to heaven for it belongs to us Ariko tugomba no kubona ibyo twasezeranijwe tukiri kwisi But we have still to receive the promises of what he promised us for us Ariko twasezeranijwe ijana kwijana for we are promised for 100% Ni ijuru nubugingo buhoraho ntabwo ari ijana kwijana In what in heaven it is an eternal life and it is not 100% Ubuzima bwawe burakira impinduka kaka Your life has to receive the change Ndakwinginze ngo wongere uhamagara imana I will beseech you to call upon the name of the Lord Ndabirijwe ryawe cyane Loud speak louder Ntabwo ari umufasha wawe wo kugusengera He is not your helper to pray for you Ntabwo mwazanye wo kukwinjira It is not your wife or your husband or your wife kukwinjirirayo Kristo yaciye utimba rukingiriza hera kugira ngo nawe wigerere yo kugira ngo winjire mu neza gusingira kandi urasingira numwete nimbaraga kugira ngo tore nangira ngo mbabwire ngo isengesho ridafite icyo rigutwaye nta nicyo ritwara satani Brethren I want to tell you that the prayer doesn't do anything to change the gusenga n'imbaraga no gushenjagurika mu mutima wa You have to pray with boldness and power kugira ngo numara guhindura mu buryo bugaragara hanyuma ibindi nabyo bikumvire bihinduke So that when you change in the physical way everything will obey you and change Amen na mwizina rya Yesu Hold the name of the Lord in the name of Jesus Ntabwo ugomba gusohoka hano ko wahinjiye You're not supposed to get out this place the same way you came to get out with your testimony akuzanye hano have to go out with what brought you here na yiteguye kubigukorera na wundi ni wowe god is ready to do it for you haleluya haleluya atuhambye cyubahiro mu izina rya yesu father be blessed in the name of jesus ni wowe bavuze ngo dusabe tuzahabwa bavuze ngo ndushaka tuzabona and when we seek we shall find ukinguza kuba komangu za dukinga and when you knock you shall open Whoever asks to receive, whatever seeks you find, and whoever knocks on the door, it is open. In the name of the Spirit of Nazareth, we are prophesying every door in our life. They are so open in the name of Jesus. They are open in the name of Jesus. They are open in the name of Jesus. For the glory of God, they are so open in the name of Jesus. They are so open in the name of Jesus. Isabisumba mahanga beautiful is the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus turi mihigo yacu yemewe na data arahinduka kuri uyu mugoroba Hamagari mana wirambirwa ubwire byose n'umutima wawe wose se kandi rabishoye haleluya haleluya magari mana n'umutima wa Yesu kutigeza usenga na Yesu mwana w'Imana yararize even kwiyumanganya kandi nta kintu usigaranye Hallelujah imani habwe icyubahiro Senga mu izina rya Yesu Hamagara imana Kere kumuka wera Call the spirit Bibwire Yesu basha kugira icyakora Kandi ari hano gukora ibikomeye Koresha intwaro z'umwuka ufite muri wowe Use the weapons of the spirit that you have Ururimo imana yaguhaye n'ubutunzi bukomeye The tap that God gave you is a great one Ntabwo ugomba guceceka ngo utekereze ku imana ibizi You don't have to be silent bibwire byose utibagiwe na kimwe gira icyo utegeka mu isi y'umwuka 
something in the spiritual realm. Send your word. Send the word out of your mouth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ushimira <laughs> Kubwicuba hiro cyawe mana mwisi na rya Yesu i Nazareti Yehova watusezeranije Jehova uravuga ngo ukunda bagukunda ariko abagushaka numwete bazakubona turi hano twahirimbaniye kukubona kandi uri imana ifatika iyabera abantu banjirije babonye uri huri muzima iyo twabonye uko ruracyakora n'uyu munsi n'uyu hinduka ora bashaka yababashenderebo Ore mosha kaya bare botaya, ola taya kase ketere bobo. Heri aba mashanda aba mashendele bobo. Ori mosha kaya bare moshetele bobo. Heri bobo shanda aba mashendele bobo. Heri aba ba 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 ba. Liya ma 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 ma. Ori moshe kaya le mosha taya. Heri le moshe kere bobo shanda aba ba. Ola taya bare Dakura <laughs> Tuze hamagari ma Nibu hatuka loku nani hira mumu tima wawu tatuye Nabgo ni hachani Shwiri ya weri jumvi kane Kukwimani rihano kujirangu kujirile neza Urako ze yesu Urako ze mami yesu Urako ze jehova rafa Urako ze Thank you for you've heard our prayers, Lord. Thank you for you've heard our prayers today. Lift up your hands and I pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, your God that follows your word and you bring it to accomplishment. I pray that the word she has spoken, Father, you respond to them according to your word. Whatever that has been standing before us as mountains be removed. We set free every person. As the Church of Healing Center set us free. We pray for the holy angels to come down and surround this place. And whoever gets here uh, sick, be healed. And those who come here bounded, let them be set free. And those who get here when they are not saved, let them have your salvation. And whoever comes here, hungry, let be fed by you. Holy Spirit of God, visit every person that is here. And the word that has been spoken, let it come to our hearts. Let it not fall on the ground. Thank you for the good word that we've heard. Thank you for all people that are here. Thank you for your presence that we can feel in this service. Father, we are going to leave this place going back home. Go with us. Those who go far, go with them, Lord. Those who go near, go with them, Lord. Then we shall be able to meet you again tomorrow, praising you and worshiping you. We rebuke all the spirit of revenge. 
Let your people go at peace and find peace. The glory and honor be back to you. Your God will be back to you.